Hi friends, we are here at Disney's Boardwalk. This is Valentina with Disney for Foodies. Firefish Restaurant reopens today after almost two years of being closed, and we are here for it. Flying Fish is a signature restaurant located at Disney's Boardwalk that serves gourmet seafood and steak. It is open for dinner from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. and offers an a la carte menu. At the moment, it remains closed Mondays and Tuesdays. You will find a wide selection of national and imported wine, including some rare-to-find wines. The menu includes appetizers, entries, enhancements, and desserts, as well as kids' menu, plant-based, and gluten-friendly options. First, the server brings to the table chives bread specially prepared for flying fish and homemade butter with parsley and sea salt. The bread is served warm. It is a delicious butter bread with a crunchy outside. The homemade butter is very light and you can clearly tell that it is homemade. For appetizer, which is the tasting of artisan cheeses. These cheeses are truly artisanal. They have a very unique flavor and come with a small piece of raw honeycomb, which is absolutely amazing. Almond crunch and toast. From the cocktail menu, we order the Pacific Island Punch. It is Mount Gay Eclipse Rum, Guava, Papaya, Pineapple, Mango Juice, and topped with a brulee banana. It is fruity and not overwhelmingly sweet. Don't expect a strong cocktail here. For the entries, we got Planchasaur Scallops. They no longer serve three of the large scallops, but five small ones. This dish was amazing, it's packed with flavors. The scallops were perfectly cooked and the corn added a slightly sweet flavor. And we enjoyed the different textures of the raw vegetables, the papaldio emulsion and the scallops. Our second entry is a char-crusted New York strip. It comes with middle fuel potato gratin, cauliflower cutlers, and bernice sauce. This dish was a miss. The meat was terrible. I mean, it was very well seasoned, but it was not tender, but chewy. It had too much fat. We did enjoy the subtle smoky flavor that the wood-fired grill gives it. The cauliflower was good, and the meal fuel potato grating was very delicious. And now it's time for dessert. First up, we have the cocoa bridge. It is a vanilla custard, chocolate bowl raw, Fulatine Crunch. Needless to say, that if you love chocolate, you have to try this dessert. It is super decadent, it has a very rich chocolate flavor, and it is super creamy. I highly recommend sharing this one. We also tried this exclusive 50th anniversary Midnight Lemon. It is a lemon mousse with fresh berries, crispy meringue, and sweet lemon. 
very fresh and light dessert. The mousse is fluffy and packed with a lot of citrus flavors. Recommended for those who prefer a lighter dessert. The restaurant also offers dessert cocktails and we had to try the espresso martini. We could literally have drank 10 more of these. It was so good. The kids menu also offers some yummy options. We ordered the salmon with a side of mac and cheese. The salmon was a bit overcooked, but this was a tasty dish anyway. S'more time at the beach. This s'more tart should be on an adult's menu. It is so good. It is also a very generous portion. We had a great dinner. We were surprised at how many cast members were working there last night. Service was excellent. The lounge was also open, and it is first comes, first serves. The restaurant is a bit pricey. Most of the food was excellent, except for the New York Strip. Unfortunately, that dish was a real bummer for $56. And that's all for today's video. Are you planning to visit this restaurant? Tell us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for more Disney content.